Hey guys, I'm Candice from Crema Coffee Garage and today I'm going to be showing you how to brew with your Mizudashi coffee pot. So the Mizudashi is made by Hario, a Japanese coffee and tea equipment manufacturer. And it's available as a 600ml mini pot and a one litre coffee pot. It was originally designed for the purpose of making cold brew, which you can dilute with either water or milk. So the Mizudashi, it works the same as a toddy. It replaces heat with time, uh, unlocking the flavour compounds, but without unlocking those acidic and fatty oil compounds. Where it differs from the toddy, however, is that it's a lot smaller, more portable decanter, um, and it makes a bit of a smaller quantity as well. It also uses a plastic mesh in the permanent filter, as opposed to the paper or felt filters which you use with the toddy. Although you can add extra filtration if you want to. So feel free to experiment. But as for today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to cold brew with your Mizudashi. So before we begin, we're gonna make sure we've got all of our equipment. So you've got your Mizudashi coffee pot, our lid and our plastic mesh filter. We've got our coffee grounds, which have been uh, specifically grinded for the plastic mesh filter. And we've got our cold filtered water and also our bamboo stirring paddle. So for the coffee water mix, uh, for a toddy we recommend one part coffee to four parts water. However, today we're going to be using the Hario recipe, which is 80 grams of coffee to 1.15 litres of water. But do keep in mind that this is the recipe for the one litre pot. So if you're using your 600 ml pot, you're going to want to adjust your recipe. So for that, Hario recommends 50 grams of coffee to 650 ml of water. Today we're going to be using uh, Crema's own Kingdom Road blend. It's great for cold brew. It develops a really strong, fruity, sweet flavour as an end result. So because there's not much setup to do with this little guy, the first step is to grind your coffee. So when grinding for the Mizudashi, we want to set our grinder to the plastic mesh filter. So it's just a tad coarser than a paper filter. So set your grinder for the paper filter and then take it up another notch. So we're gonna start by adding our coffee and water. We're gonna alternate between the two, just so we're ensuring a full coverage of the grind. So begin with maybe about half your coffee. And then just start adding your water. So we just wanna make sure we're covering the full surface of the grind. And then we're just gonna let that rest for a little bit. This is what's called the bloom. We're just letting those natural gases escape. So once a good majority of that water starts to filter through, we're gonna add the rest of our coffee and water. Still alternating between the two, just to ensure that full coverage of the grind. So don't stress out if you're not fully saturating all of your grinds just yet. We will be using our stirrer towards the end, just to fold them down and push them down to get all saturated. But just make sure you're not stirring. That kind of vigorous stirring can actually cause you to clog your filter and then we've wasted all our whole process. Just adding the last of your water there, guys. So you will find it does take a little while to drain down. So don't stress out, it's not taking too long. And just gently fold those top grinds down. Then just pop your lid back on. And if you've got the room in your fridge, it's best if you can pop it back into the fridge. But if not, you can just leave it on your bench top. And we're gonna leave, be leaving it for around eight hours. Of course, you can play around with your time a little bit if you want a milder or a stronger brew. For a milder brew, maybe a minimum of about three hours. And if you wanna do a stronger brew, let it sit for maybe up to about 12 hours. So once that time's passed, just then remove your lid and remove the filter and the coffee from inside. So this can get just thrown into the compost if you like, and then just rinse your filter under hot water and just leave it off to the side to dry. And your cold brew's all ready for you to drink, guys. 
So when you want to drink some, you can mix it with either water or milk, depends on your personal preference. Uh, we recommend about one parts of the coffee to maybe two to three parts milk or water, but again, it's all personal, so feel free to play around. And the great thing about the cold brew is you can actually use it in recipes for a variety of really yummy things, so like cocktails, cakes, ice cream, and so on. So that's it for the Mizudashi today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to leave us a comment about the Mizudashi, feel free to do so below. And if you could also share our video, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram, that'd be awesome. And if you've got any more uh, questions about the Mizudashi for more information, you can actually check them out on our website. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys.